Well, we're here in DP World Vancouver, which is one of the uh, 80 ports that DP World owns and operates globally. So the terminal here in Vancouver has a 90 year history. So we had an interest in reducing our energy consumption, electrical energy consumption here on the terminal. This is a global mandate for DP World. And we also wanted to improve the lighting across the terminal for our employees, for terminal operations and uh, meet some minimum uh, lux requirements. Well, the old lighting was uh, high pressure sodium. So it had that orange yellow glow, which was hazy at best. And um, it was problematic to maintain. Uh, we had a, a constant uh, effort of uh, lowering uh, the fixtures and maintaining those. So we were often suffering a significant number of outages and living with a lower lux level than even the design level of the HPS. We uh, created a, a set of requirements that uh, helped characterize what we thought we would need, sent it out, and we evaluated a lot of different products. We had samples brought in. We looked at everything from the way the fixture was manufactured from a reliability, you know, how long is this going to perform here over time. So, and through that process, um, that's uh, where we ended with Musco. Uh, being the most desirable one. And I'd seen it personally at our head office terminal in Dubai at Jebedal AT2 uh, and, and seen some of the successes that it had there. Yeah, I, I think how Musco differed from a lot of the other competitive products on the market is uh, they provided a complete system for us, uh, a solution that was not just a single fixture on a light tower, but it was the integration of that fixture with the other 12 fixtures on that light tower plus a driver solution that was that was easily repairable. The overall packaging and engineering of the solution is unparalleled. We didn't find that with anybody else who could look at the overall problem that we have in this area that needs to be lit and engineer a solution that for each tower they could pre-ship a set of a pre uh, pre-aimed fixtures that are all mounted to bars and we could like installation efficiency was also very important for us. So a solution that could come basically out of the truck and it's all pre-aimed and we could just crane it up, drop it on the top of the tower in a, in a very short window was, was huge for us. So we initially thought lowering rings were the way to go. And through discussions with, with our own engineering team here and, and with Musco, we decided that the most reliable long-term solution uh, would be to go with a fixed uh, a fixture sitting on a pole top mount and we moved the drivers down to the ground. So there's lots of advantages to not having a lowering ring and to having a product that doesn't require some frequent maintenance. The, the number one thing when lowering a ring we have to close the whole area at the base of the tower. So here on a container terminal all the real estate is in high demand. So to close a tower is not just closing the immediate area. We have to close the adjacent container bays for working because we can't have the big cranes coming by a lowered light ring tower. So it takes a lot of planning. We will plan even up to a week to lower a light ring tower. So eliminating that completely it has been fantastic. I mean, when the, when the light ring comes down on, on the light tower, we have antennas for Wi-Fi. We have cameras for security. So the light ring coming down would bump the antennas, it would hit the cameras, knock the cameras out of focus or out of um, alignment. And so it was just a constant um, challenge to lower a light ring and put it back up and realign everything. So that's just eliminated. Prior to implementing um, the LED lighting solution, we had a high variability in lighting. So we would have areas that were well lit, 60, 70 lux, and then other areas that were 10 or 20 lux. So you would have dark shadows and, and a lot of not much uniformity. So uh, we've not only raised that minimum light level uh, up to 50 lux and created a very uniform light environment. From the terminal operations side, everybody loves it. It's, uh, it's a much better uh, environment to work in. It's safer. Uh, we did receive some good feedback that, that it was a crisper, clear light. They were able to read their paperwork. Uh, easier. Um, at night they were able to see better when they're, when they're turning. Um, more even illumination in, in the yard, which when, when, when you're reading container numbers or there's a lot of reading and analyzing information in a container yard, that really helped the uniformity of the light. We we're able to be more selective with, with our lighting. So in the middle of the container block where there's container stored, we don't need the 50 luxes. There's no people there. There's no operations there. The, the crane comes over and picks up the container. 
So we were able to direct the light. Another feature of LED lighting is we were able to direct and put the light where the light is needed versus uh, just having it just scattering everywhere. Another big uh, benefit from this project is uh, our geographical location of this container terminal is right beside the downtown core of Vancouver. So we have a, po a huge population living in, in uh, condominiums and in other residential areas immediately adjacent the terminal. So the previous lighting solution with HPS fixtures basically um, sent out a huge orange glow into the city so everybody could see the terminal uh, all night long. So it, the light shone into the residences everywhere. So by going to the LED solution with Musco solution, we were able to focus that light and get the cutoffs so that our terminal effectively looks a lot darker at night and the amount of light pollution in the community has been reduced. And we've had positive feedback from, from the Port Authority and from, from other uh, residential um, groups uh, after this project that it's we're not lighting their living rooms up at night anymore. So, so when we look back at the project overall, we have uh, been able to achieve a return on this investment of sub four years, which from DP World's perspective is a, is a successful project and, and something that really has a lot of merit to it. Uh, we believe in the sustainability that the project delivers in terms of reducing energy consumption. We've created a more safe work environment. There's less light pollution in our community and uh, the reliability has shot up. So anytime you can get a project that addresses a couple areas, but even four areas like this, it's a win, 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 win.